Hi, this is Joseph with Go Engineer. I have another tech tip for 3D printing for you today. Today we're going to go through some of the ins and outs of material change, including a little trick I've found for making it work so much better. Come to the back and we'll show you. Welcome to our back room for our demo center and our F370. This material change process is the same for the F170, 270, and 370. So here we go into our material screen, select the material that we're going to work with, and tell it to unload. Now a trick I have found is really helpful is to come in and grab a hold of the filament as it's unloading. That way while the head and motor are kicking it back out like this, I can maintain control and prevent the material from getting cross-wound as it sits on the shelf. Then it's ready to reuse again. Now we have some tracks in the material spool and some clips. They're right on the side. Get those in. So the clips in the side and the material track. Once we have the material clipped in, then we just snip off the excess and I'll talk about this here in a minute. There's an important reason why. Set aside our uh, old color. We're just in inserting a new color this time. Slide that in. The drive gear starts to feed in the material. Once that material is in far enough for it to load, the load button becomes active and we hit load. Then we see the little snake working its way up to the top. That's our indicator that the material is in the process of loading. There's also the little nub at the bottom that doesn't move. That's the indicator that the material is in far enough that it can be loaded. That's especially important if you're loading in a second spool for an auto changeover. Now for this material that we cut off, there's an important reason why we want to cut off about this much, six, eight inches or a little more, is because you can feel on the ends where the teeth from the drive gears in the print head dig into that material and gouge it out a little bit. When you take that out, you want to snip that off so when it goes back into the printer, it's not carving out so much material that it can't get a grip on it and load properly. That's why we snip that off. We'll just throw that away. Then our old material we want to stick into the mylar bags. This prevents moisture for, from getting into the material and causing other problems with the print head. Now when the material is finished loading, we'll hear a click, the door unlocking. That's our cue that the material has fully loaded and is ready to go. One thing I really enjoy about these printers is how fast this is. On the old uh, dimension units from Stratasys, the process was about 15 minutes. I'd hit unload and then I'd sit there and not know what to do. I can't go back to my desk. There's not enough time to do anything else. So this process is so much faster. Oh, there's our click. You heard it. So now we know it's loaded and ready to go. Super fast, super easy. I hope this helps you guys out. We'll see you next time. All right, you can change material. Probably the second most common thing you're going to do on your printer. If you do have any questions, please reach out to technical support. Our number is on goengineer.com. Please feel free to reach out to us anytime with any questions you have. Like and subscribe to this video so you can always get our future tech tips. See you next time.